hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of c if we have c minus 5 divided by 5 minus c is equals to 5 and we solve this problem for all the values of c so uh, here we uh, first find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will check that uh, which one of the roots are satisfied uh, over this question statement and at the last we check that is this equation has solution exist or not so this is very interesting problem and i hope so you like uh, this question or this solution so we solve this problem for two methods and i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so in first method you see here in the right hand side the denominator of this term is one so now here we need to cross multiply the terms and when we multiply 1 with the c minus 5 uh, so 1 times of c minus 5 is equals to c minus 5 and 5 minus c is multiplied by 5 okay so we multiply this term with this 5 so after cross multiplication of term we will get here the right hand side is 5 times of 5 minus c and now further in the next step we need to simplify the terms and here uh, we multiply this 5 on both of these values and we get here 5 times of 5 becomes 25 minus 5 times of c becomes 5c and in the left hand side we have c minus 5 and now here in the next step we need to uh, move the variable terms in the left hand side and we move the constant terms to the right hand side for this we move this minus 5c in the left hand side it will become here plus 5c and this is 25 and when we move this minus 5 in the right hand side it will becomes plus 5 so you see here we have uh, c plus 5 these are the two like terms uh, with variable uh, term c so that we need to add the coefficients of these two terms so the coefficient of this term is 1 and this is 5 so we get here f1 plus 5 becomes 6c is equals to 25 plus 5 becomes here 30 and now here in the next step uh, in order to find the value of c we need to remove the 6 from right, left hand side for this we divide both of the sides by 6 so when we divide both of the sides by 6 it will be written as 6c over 6 is equals to 30 over 6 and you see here this 6 is cancelled out by this 6 and we get here our c is equals to here this is 6 times of 5 becomes 30 and we will get here 5 only so uh, from first method we will get here uh, the only one solution only one root of the given equation and now here in the next step uh, we need to verify this this uh, root and we check that is this root is satisfied of the given question statement or not so for a verification of the root we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is c minus 5 divided by 5 minus c is equals to 5 this is the our question statement and the value of c is equals to 5 so we verify this value of c for verification we put this value of c into the left hand side of the above equation and after substituting this value this will become here this will becomes a 5 minus 5 divided by 5 minus this c is also 5 and we check that is this equals to 5 or not and now you see here 5 minus 5 becomes 0 this 5 minus 5 is also becomes 0 and this is equals to 5 and you see here uh, 0 over 0 uh, is called the undetermined form uh, or in other words we just say that 0 over 0 is the undefined form so uh, this is undefined form so it means that the value of c is equals to 5 is not satisfied our given question statement because when we put this value our given equation will becomes here undefined form okay so uh, it means that 
this equation has no solution okay and uh, the root c is equals to extraneous root okay so uh, our given equation has no solution uh, so this is the, our final answer which we get here from uh, first method and now here we move forward uh, towards the second method and we again solve this problem for second method and now here uh, from second method uh, we need uh, to uh, copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is c minus 5 divided by 5 minus c is equals to 5 and here in this method uh, we uh, just we need to do uh, all the focus in the left hand side uh, so uh, here uh, we uh, we just rewrite our left hand side as in this form so first we need to copy uh, first we need to uh, take common minus sign from the uh, numerator term in the left hand side and when we take common minus sign it will be written as uh, this is uh, minus times of this c minus 5 becomes here 5 minus c and it is divided by this is 5 minus c is equals to this is 5 only okay so further in the next step you see here uh, this complete term is cancelled out by this complete term and after cancellation of these two terms we get here minus 1 is equals to 5 and uh, you see here minus 1 is not equals to 5 it is not possible case or it is not possible uh, minus 1 is equals to 5 and you clearly see here uh, in second method we cannot find any value of c so uh, this concludes that uh, this question has no solution okay so this has no solution and this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much uh, uh, for watching this video uh, and i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos